A Poland-based startup called Volonaut has released a flashy new video of its airbike, a terrifying-looking jet-powered hoverbike. The Superbike for the Skies is reminiscent of the speeder bikes ripping through the dense underbrush of Endor in the 1983 Star Wars movie Return of the Jedi, effortlessly soaring over a rugged landscape as if it were defying gravity. The startup even shared a promotional video of a rider dressed up like a stormtrooper riding the bike for a May the 4th-inspired social media post over the weekend. Inventor Tomasz Patan, who showed off a one-person, fully electric EV tall called the Jetson 1 earlier this year, went back to the drawing board for the airbike, relying on jet propulsion instead of spinning propellers to reach advertised speeds of up to 124 miles per hour. The airbike's proprietary stabilization system enhanced by a flight computer provides automatic hover and ease of control for its rider, the startup's website boasts. The unique riding position with unobstructed 360-degree view helps the rider to quickly become one with the flying machine and provides the sensation of complete freedom. Other than that, details are pretty sparse. We don't know what kind of engines are being used to propel the bike, how long it can stay airborne, or how much ground it can cover. We also don't know if it will ever be made commercially available, let alone how much it would cost if it did. However, Volonaut claims the air bike will go to market in the near future. According to New Atlas's back-of-the-envelope calculations, the bike is unlikely to be able to fly much longer than two to three minutes at a time, based on it purportedly being seven times lighter than a typical motorcycle. Other than the air bike, the Jetson 1 is seemingly closer to hitting the market. The sleek contraption, which will go on sale for $128,000, features eight electric motors that generate north of 100 horsepower. It can fly for 20 minutes at a time and reach speeds of up to 63 miles per hour. Ixturismo Hoverbike Take yourself back a couple of decades or so, and you may remember storytellers and fantasy writers envisioning the future, which involved flying cars and hoverbikes. Airwinds Technologies, Inc. are to thank for bringing this fantasy to life with a vehicle that looks like something ripped right out of a Star Wars movie. The Exturismo hoverbike is considered to be the world's first flying bike, and it's absolutely jaw-dropping. You might think that the all-new Exturismo is just a proof-of-concept technology, but oh no, the hoverbike is available for sale, and it's by no means a cheap buy. The company has recently started accepting orders for its new beast, and it's now made its way to the United States. You could be jetting to work on one of these motors sooner than you think, but be prepared to shell out quite a bit of coin. The futuristic vehicle exudes an inventive design by carrying six fan blades, two mega blades in the front and back, which help the bike lift off and four smaller versions to aid direction. The hover bike gains its power from four electric motors, which runs alongside a regular petrol engine, together lending the X Turismo with a 24.8 mile cruising range. The beautiful beast carries its sleek curves through the sky like some sort of futuristic insect, and if that's not something to talk about, we don't know what is. Although the manufacturer has not yet released the top speed of the vehicle, many have speculated that the hoverbike can zip around at a top speed of 62 miles per hour, and the craziness doesn't stop there. More impressively, the bike can be airborne for up to 40 minutes on a single charge, lifting to 220 pounds when flying. Doroni H1X It looks like something out of a sci-fi video game, but thankfully it's not just a cool concept. The recently unveiled Doroni H1X is the latest go-to-market design developed by Doroni Aerospace and available for pre-order. Your driveway, a launchpad, is more than a catchy slogan. It reflects the vision of a future where high-tech, zero-emission flying vehicles are available to everyone. And this is no longer a distant future. In just a couple of years, you could be turning your own driveway into a launch pad and housing a futuristic-looking flying machine in your garage. The Doroni H1X officially broke cover, and the first units can be pre-ordered with a deposit of just $1,000. All EVTOLs are exciting for the future of air mobility, but the ones that are classified as personal aircraft have a deeper impact on each person's view of private mobility. Palvi's Liberty combines the capabilities of a conventional car with those of a gyroplane, making it a two-seat fly-drive aircraft. The Jetson 1 boasts one seat for ultimate freedom in the sky. 
H1X is the flying car designed to operate smoothly from a private owner's driveway. The same aircraft comes in multiple configurations for cargo delivery, emergency medical services, and military missions. Lazarus Lazarus, a French company famous for its innovation, has been ascending in the bike industry since its inception. However, with their most recent product, the Lazarus LMV 496. La Moto Volante, they have taken things to a new level and have explored the new potential of the biking industry. The Lazarus LMV 496 has a price span of 380,000 euro, and when converted to Indian rupee, it stands at 3.5 crores, which is much more than many of the luxury cars like Audi, BMW, Mercedes. What makes the Lazarus LMV 496 so special and expensive is that this bike can actually fly. The vehicle comes equipped with 96,000 RPM JetCat turbine installed in each of the bike's four wheel hubs. When the flying mode of the vehicle is switched on, the turbines act to propel the bike into the sky. Also, when the flying mode is turned on the wheels of Lazarus LMV 496, swiftly align in a horizontal orientation. According to the video uploaded by Lazarus Automoto, the vehicle can only hover a few feet above the ground level.